Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and well done to all of you because this is, of course, Duchenne Foundation Gala Blue Ball number two and it has grown to enormous numbers. Well done. We were all here last year doing the same thing. We all had our trainer wheels on, but we have really kicked on. This is cool, and I'm glad that so many of you are here tonight. I am your MC. My name is Tim Gossage, and I'll remain Tim Gossage from Channel 10 if I do a good job. If I'm shit out, I'm Adrian Barrett from Channel 7. <laughs> Don't ever yell out Barra at any stage tonight. We greatly appreciate it. I'd like to officially welcome our honourable guests tonight, including Dr Kim Hames, who's on Table 30, Minister for Health and Tourism. Great to have you here, Dr Hames, uh, representing the Premier. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Dr Hames and all our guests here tonight. <laughs> Hope, blue, okay? That's what they are. They are for sale and they are all about the Duchenne, of course. Blue, because that is the blue colour, and Hope, because it is all about Hope, the Duchenne Foundation. Blue could be Tony Abbott. We have local and international performers and music to entertain you tonight and due to the enormous generosity of the West Australian business community, family and friends will be an abundance of opportunities including our wonderful raffle, I'll explain that for you in just a few moments, the live auction and if you've been to a Gossage auction we are fast, we don't mess about, we get in, we get out, we make the money and that is it. And the silent auction which is taking place out there in the foyer area which is uh, hopefully get out there and uh, place your bids. Bit of housekeeping for you, I'd like to draw your attention to your programs which are on your table ladies and gentlemen, inside the front cover you will find the food and drinks menu, all sponsors and donors are also listed and I would ask you, because they've already shown their huge hearts for their contribution for us tonight, please do the same in the future if you have any needs in regards to those sponsors. If you want to support the foundation beyond this event through monetary support, prize donations, sponsorship or even donating your time as a volunteer, please fill out the contact form in the back of the program. Place it in the red box in the registration desk and donation forms in the grey box. So it's there. You know what to do. Our platinum sponsor for this evening is Hosp Equip. A very special thank you to Karen and Michael Peck for their ongoing generous support of the Duchenne Foundation and their dedication and support to the Australian community with services provided within the home, hospital and care facilities. They are renowned for their exceptional teamwork, team approach and customer service around Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for tonight's sponsor, the Hosp Equip Group, our platinum sponsor. Well done. Thanks, Michael. And thanks to Karen. Duchenne Foundation has partnered with Fundraising Auctions Australia this year to raise much needed funds in areas of research, support and quality of life for boys, young men and their families living with Duchenne. You can make a world of difference for those uh, lives of those with Duchenne by generously bidding on any of the incredible items we have for you tonight. Now the raffle works like this, $5 a ticket or 5 for $20 and these will be collected and drawn immediately after the live auction. Now. They are. You have a chance to win first prize, four cases of wine valued at over $1,000. Two-night getaway at the wonderful Esplanade Hotel here in Frio with sparkling wine and chocolates valued at $650. If you've got no one to go with, go twice on your own. Third prize, a bit like me, third prize, fabulous family tickets prize, including movie tickets, tickets to Aqua and Circus, jo uh, Circus Joseph Ashton, that's exactly right, including a behind-the-scenes tour valued at over $220 for third prize. And fourth prize is a flash... Flash and Geist International Kitchen Hamper. Yes. Did I say that right? That's not answering my question. Did I say it right? Thank you very much. That is fantastic. Well done to you. And also, the other one, which has uh, been uh, cast upon us, is the Karma Nights in a three-bedroom villa at uh, Jimbaran Bay, Bali, which is... Did I say that right? Rightio. And you can fill that out. And that is not part of... You're not buying the tickets in that. That's the f free one, I think, which is that if I remember rightly, but anyway, lots of tickets to give up to, uh, to auction and to also to buy, so please get on with that. We're also doing the business card draw for the Automasters. Sorry for talking while you're interrupting. I'll get there in a moment. <laughs> Drop your business card in the glass jar at the registration table during the night so we can get out there. Don't forget, these are our Duchenne Dragons. Again, that is blue, that is hope, and lastly, if you'd like a memento for the night, the team from Scene Team are out there in the foyer area taking photos, and that would be fantastic. Entree is on the way, ladies and gentlemen, but I would ask you for your undivided attention. To kickstart the evening, the patron of the Duchenne Foundation. Up for a few words, and let's hope it is just a few, because this man, George, can talk. Of course, 
They are usually uttered in the middle of a cricket pitch to a fierce competitor half his age and twice his size. But nothing ever stopped George Bradley Hogg from having something to say. He needs little introduction. He's the seventh most successful one-day bowler for Australia, and the way they're going at the moment, he's the most successful bowler for Australia. A winning team member of two World Cups, cricket's recent comeback king with a cult-like following with the Perth Scorchers, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome our Duchenne Foundation patron, Brad Hogg. Well, 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 welcome. And thanks very much, Tim, for that kind introduction. Uh, Tim, second year in a row, you do a fantastic job and he's becoming part of the Duchenne family. And uh, yet again, another sledge, thanks very much. But as I said, good evening all. And uh, welcome here to the second Blue Gala Ball. Uh, it is a major event for the, the, the Duchenne Foundation for its fundraising. And as Tim said, there's going to be plenty of entertainment here tonight and we're going to enjoy ourselves. Very good. But the most important people here, the stars of the night, are yourselves. Now, many of us have been led on by our friends to purchase tickets tonight. And uh, there's four or five tables of my friends over there that have uh, purchased some tickets. And some friends of mine last year have also bought tables themselves and uh, set up tables of ten. And there's many of you. So those of my friends, those of your friends that have come tonight, thank you very much. Now, a special thank you has to go to Claire Bailey and Pam Bianchi. Can you stand, please, girls? Stand. Stand. Now, last year was our inaugural ball, and uh, these two young ladies, two beautiful ladies, came around and uh, wanted to start an event and started the, the uh, WA chapter of the Duchenne Foundation. And uh, they set it off with probably one of the hardest gigs to do in entertainment, and that is the Gala Ball. And last year we had something like 300 people, and this year we've filled the house out with 400 people. So ladies, inspiration, well done. Now over the last 12 months I have been patron of the Duchenne Foundation, and uh, we have done a few charitable things and, and some marvellous things. Firstly, uh, Claire and myself went to Telethon and donated a giant cheque of $20,000 for Princess Margaret. And that all started from zero funds and from the funds of last year's ball, that's what we raised. So well done all of you that came. Now we do see some live, uh, live auction items. Last year Cheryl and I bought the bathroom auction item. Uh, there's some photos up here. And I've got to tell you, just about the house, <laughs> millimetre perfect with their workmanship. And there's my uh, picture of my uh, reading throne. It's a fantastic place to, to uh, catch up on all my reading and the news because Tim Gossage, our Channel 10, can't deliver the proper sport news. Sorry, Tim, I had to get you. <laughs> uh, next, I went to the Rocky Bay Christmas party. And what an event this was. Uh, Father Christmas was there. There was face painting. There were games. There was raving entertainment. And we had young Logan Bailey wheeling around in his stand-up wheelchair. And what, what, what a wheelchair it is. It enables these kids. Is Logan here? Yes. Quick, Logan, up here. Up here. Here we go, Logan. Young nine-year-old. Now he's going to come up on the dance floor and show you what this wheelchair can do. Come on, Logan. All right, let's watch him. He's going to do a little trick here. Wheels around. Up he goes. Now that's what we raise our funds for. Logan, on a stand-up wheelchair, gives these kids independence, gives them the ability to stand tall in our community and it also allows our carers uh, to, to help and aid uh, significantly. So thanks very much for your little help there, Logan.
He is taller than me. Thanks very much for that, Tim. But he could still beat you in a running race. Uh, next, uh, next we, uh, we went down to Fremantle and we had a bit of a photo shoot on a hot summer's day in February and Dominic, uh, Dominic Bianchi and Logan Bailey and myself, uh, we melted in the hot sun down there and uh, thanks to the scene team's uh, ability to put up such a great shot, they did, did us wonders but the A team also uh, helped out publish the pamphlets and a little bit of photo shopping goes a long way so thanks very much to the A team as well. Um, but that picture, it tells a lot about Dushan. You've got Dominic, who's 22, standing up on the landing. Um, you've got Logan, who's nine years old. Dushan, it is a rapidly progressive muscle disorder. It allows our kids to crawl, walk, run and play. Then it is all taken away. Boys lose the ability to walk through the ages of 7 and 13. Most of them are wheelchair bound at the age of 12 and in their teens they lose the ability to oper operate their upper, upper body. They lose their arm movements as well. That's what we're here to raise money for. Now I go to school uh, and, and visit Logan. He goes to uh, the primary school that my daughter goes goes to and he is an absolute inspiration to our kids uh, at that school. So well done, Logan. <laughs> but we also have uh, Dominic up there. Now Dominic's, uh, Dominic is a little bit of an entertainer. Uh, you might know him as DJ Rolling Dom and uh, he does do the entertainments. There we see him up in the picture there. And uh, he's entertaining the crowd at the, uh, the Grooving the Moo Festival down in Bunbury. So good on you, Dom. Well done. <laughs> now in March, I was roped in to, uh, to attend the, Justin, well, the Joseph Ashton Circus. Uh, they, they were prepared to put their, uh, their, their profits from, from a show towards the Duchamp Foundation. But uh, they, they had one condition. And the condition that I had to perform in that show and do the Wheel of Death, um, I sat there and ummed and ahed about it. I didn't realise I was doing it until I was driving into 94.5 FM and they were advertising on the radio. So thanks very much for Shell for roping that in. And as usual, I don't have much of a say in things in my house. <laughs> but uh, there I am up on the Wheel of Death and I'll tell you, the circus is no illusion. There's no cheat, sheet, cheat sheets and there's no shortcuts. These guys are standing on the outside of that, running around doing backflips, somersaults, juggling, and I tell you what, I'm glad I'm here today without a scratched face or sore arms because that metal grade inside can really hurt you. And uh, six months before, I got told that one of the blokes fell off and did his knee, so uh, I wasn't too happy going that, doing that before I had to go away to the IPL. And probably with what happened to my team in the IPL, I probably should have got injured there. Three of them are in jail. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to wrap it up tonight. Uh, it's, it's, fanta fantastic. it's been a fantastic 12 months for me as patron. Uh, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Just got to watch my peas in the microphone. But as patron of the, of the Duchamp Foundation over the last 12 months, I've seen these kids wake up, face the world like any other child. They breathe every minute. They make the most of every minute. And over my last 12 months doing what I do, every, every day I get an opportunity come my way, I make sure I grab it with both hands. Now, there is no cure for this disease, but there is hope and there is us. Collectively tonight, we will make a difference. So you've got your raffle tickets, we've got the silent auction, and Tim later on, he's got the live auction. It's going to be a fantastic night. I'd like you just to charge your glasses. We're going to have a toast for a good night, for an entertaining night, for a great cause, and thank you all. Put your hands together for George Bradley Hogg, our patron, the Duchenne Foundation patron. Love his passion. Love his passion, Hoggy. He's a good man.
And when he gets his teeth into something, he certainly doesn't do it at half measures. He's a, he's a wonderful man, he's Brad Holt. Went to the circus. I thought you would have been a clown, if anything, but I'll go with the... <laughs> apparently you were in that wheel of thing. Fantastic. Now, just one bit of housekeeping I didn't mention, ladies and gentlemen. There's a non-smoking venue. Please remind yourself of that if you are partaking in a cigarette or two. Just head back downstairs from the way you came and back out on the road and the bus will take you to Victoria Park. But <laughs> just that way, you know, non-smoking. Fantastic. Good. Good to see there's a couple of weddings in the house as well here at the Esplanade. Two weddings in here tonight as well. I've had three myself, had them on different nights, but um, <laughs> they've decided to go. Now, entrees on the way, give generously. The raffle is important. The live auction, the silent auction. Don't forget, Blue and Hope. These are our Duchenne dragons. Sorry, Julia. <laughs> She's back. So please, sit back, enjoy. It is a fun night. And if you don't know the entertainment, if you haven't heard of Soul Mystique, you are going to get blown away on this stage here tonight. Enjoy, enjoy your entree, back with plenty more. <laughs>